Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are doing another 360 camera view test and uh, we've got a new update right now. So we are on FSD beta software 10.69.25.2. So previously we were at .1. So it's a minor update, but we, I still am interested to see if there's any changes around the visualization, if there's anything updated or added. Uh, and uh, the version of the software that we're on is 2022 44.30.10. So yeah, uh, right now we are in, under, in, in, a, in a parking lot that is covered. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and run around with the car and uh, try to do parking uh, nose in or uh, and backing in as well into a parking spot to see if there's any changes in the wobbliness of other cars that it sees that are parked. And I've also got some foil over here and tape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the ultrasonic sensors on my car to see if there's any changes and uh, especially around uh, showing the distances from one car to another. So if you haven't really seen this update or um, if seen this uh, piece of news, I've read on Twitter that there's someone that r reported that without ultrasonic sensors or with the ultrasonic sensors being deactivated, they were able to get those distances measured without the ultrasonic sensors being uh, enabled. So that was very interesting for me because I think, in my opinion, if I cover the ultrasonic sensors, I won't be able to see those. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do that after I do the normal test, first of all, to see if there's any other changes. But first of all, I'm just going to go and clear my rear view camera. All right. So once we're in the car and we hit reverse, Let's see what we're going to get. It's a little bit blurry, but it's good enough. Uh, so we see a cone right here on our left hand side. And nothing really else. So what we're doing now is that we're parked next to a forklift uh, or not a forklift, some sort of a, yeah, I think it's a forklift. So we're parked very close to it and next to it, there's a wall, but it doesn't really see the wall. It was interesting because when I was uh, kind of going into the parking lot I was able to see that wall so let's see if I hit drive there we go so you, we've got an, an indication here in red showing that these are the there's a wall over here and then over here on the right that there is some sort of a obstruction but literally in front of us there's nothing we are on a covered parking lot and it's snowing outside but there's not much difference so uh, it's not really showing those columns as well. So if I reverse, you'll be able to see the columns that I'm talking about. There we go. Those are the columns. And as I'm reversing, it should be able to start spotting the cars. Well, there's no, no cars really behind me, but if I hit drive, you can see that person coming out of the car. It shows up very, very instantly on the visualization. So yeah, let's go ahead and try and park again. We'll park next to this car over here and see how that goes. It should pop into a, there you go, a top view. And we've got the indication for the ultrasonic sensor showing the distances. Here we go. And yeah, it's pretty, um, uh, I mean, we still see wobbliness. So as you can see in front of us, there's a, oh, and it shows the car behind us as well. That's pretty cool. So as you can see over there, there's a trailer, some sort of a trailer, and it's showing us a truck over here. So that's not very pretty good and it's also wobbly. So that's not good at all. Yeah. All right, so um, this is uh, probably like a good enough for a nose in parking test. Let's try and do a backup test over here. So I'm just gonna pick a few cars, a few cars and park behind them or uh, next to them. So let's see, like if we see these cars over here, I'll try and reverse park. Oh, I think there's a some sort of a barricade over there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna choose another one here. All right, so here we go. We hit reverse and we back out, back up. And that car disappeared and came back. And that car is actually pretty much pretty close to. As you can see from the backup camera, it's getting pretty close and, oh yeah, it's not really a good indication. 
that FSD visual is kind of popping in and out. And you can see the shakiness. And also there's a column right behind us and you can see that on the camera but you don't really see it on the visual. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse a bit and then I'm going to let this, this person drive in front of us. Yeah, the, the cars are going sideways even when you're when you see when you see them doing that. So yeah, that's not really good. So you can see the column behind us and there's no indication whatsoever on the visual. So yeah, we need to solve this. I'm really really hopeful that Tesla is going to make it right and give us a really good 360 camera view better than this stuff. So all right, so I'm going to go ahead and put those stickers on for the um, ultrasonic sensors and we're going to redo this test again. But first, if you've been watching on my channel and you've been uh, liking my videos, please like the button in the bottom of the video. And also please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. I'm trying to build my fan base over here. And um, yeah, the more questions, the more requests people have, I can really get, get on those requests and do them. But please subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot. All right, so what I've done is I put the, I've stuck most of the sensors, closed them off with a sticker of some sort. I'm gonna test this out again. So as you can see, it's not really showing from now the indication on the, um, on the, on the ultrasonic sensors. But let's let's get close over here and we'll try and do a nose in parking. Yeah, and we've got a nice car in front of us over here, so. So hopefully it'll pop up onto, uh, I'm just gonna hit the, try to make the brightness a little bit, a little bit better so that everyone can see. And yeah, we're not really getting the, the top down view. Oh, here we go, it's coming up. And yeah, we're getting the indicate, ooh, interesting. We're getting the, the distance even. That's pretty weird. Does that mean it's really showing? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check if I close those off properly. Let me get closer over here. All right. Let me take a take a picture of the front bumper over here to see if it's really true. All right, so one of the stickers has gone off. I was wondering that's why maybe. And yeah, now it's not really showing any distance. Yeah, it's not really showing any more distance. Let's try and reverse again. I'm gonna try and park again as if I'm parking. Yeah, you can really see the wobbliness is not. It's showing the indication, but it's not really. Oh, and it's showing the distance again. Ha, huh, interesting. I'm gonna go check again if they're covered properly. Yeah, it looks like it's slipping, that's why. It's kinda because of all the it's not really sticking properly, so let me try one more time. And we're still getting distances. Those ultrasonic sensors really want to work, eh? Hey? Oh, nothing now. Doesn't seem like we're getting anything. Yeah, and we're so close to that car. Yeah, so no, I don't think I don't think uh, FSD visual can can see all that by itself, unfortunately, and determine distances. So, all right. So I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna stop getting too close to that car in the front. So yeah, if you if you really like this video and um, you know, like uh, I think we're still far away from uh, 360 camera for Tesla. I think we really need they they really need to make this good for the uh, the the Model 3 and Y owners, especially the new cars that are coming without ultrasonic sensors. So I really feel you guys, and um, I really hope this uh, showed you something a little bit more than 
my previous video. If you haven't seen my previous videos on the 360 camera, I'll point them up on the on the top right of this video right now. And uh, if you folks like this video, and if you have any other suggestions on uh, where to park and uh, what to test as well for uh, uh, try to block off the ultrasonic sensors again, or if you didn't find that interesting, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to do that for you folks. That's all for now, and uh, we'll get you. Uh, I'll get you guys an update whenever we get FSD version 11. Hopefully, it'll be coming soon in another week or two. <laughs> That's what we keep getting told from uh, Elon Musk. So let's see, let's see um, if we get that. Uh, I'll do an update on the ultrasonic sensors and the 360 camera view again. So thanks everyone for watching, and hope you guys have a nice day.